it's time. It's time for more. Okay, so um, now we're actually going to start mapping these things. So I'm going to be doing a little bit on the board so you guys understand what's going on. Um, but like I said, <clears throat> we're going to map triangles across two sets of data. So I want to be super clear what that means. Um, if we have two of these, let's take a look at it this way. Actually, I'm going to draw three, but I'm going to simplify it. So I've got one here, another one here, and another one here. Okay, this information is, it's got s different sets of numbers. So we're, we've got a list of um, mass endpoints, we have a list of boom endpoints, and they have their own set of numbers. And they're listed like this, 0, 1, and 2, and then 0, 1, and 2. So as we start to go through this list, um, and we start to try and map these things, keep that in mind. Um, <coughs> So let's get sort of into the data here a little bit. I'm going to show you those numbers here on screen as well. So we have our, let's go to display and let's go to point list. And we're going to look at the boom end points, which are these, or the mast end points, sorry. Zero less than 5.0, no idea how tall it needs to be. There we go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pretty clear. Copy and paste that for the other one. And these are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, so now let's start to map these things together. The key is we want to map, let's take a look at 0 and 1. Okay. So we're going to go from 0 to 0, but we're going to go to the mast arm 1. So we need to restructure this information. Let's take a look at it in a vertical fashion um, by pulling out the list and looking at their indices. So this is, this is you guys don't have to follow along with this. I just want to describe <laughs> what's happening. <coughs> Zero, one, two, three, four, five. We have this here. Um, and then we have um, the other ones, which is this. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what we want to do is take um, zero and um, zero, and we want to tie it to one. So that's kind of a challenge. Um, so we're trying to actually let's see if I could just draw on top of this so you understand what's happening. There. Um, so we're going to take zero and zero, and we're going to tie it to one. Or, in fact, I think we're going the other direction. We're going to take 0 and 0, and then we're going to tie it to, yeah, so that's 0 and 0, and we're going to tie it to this one. So we're going to need to restructure certain information, right? We're going to need to input a three-point surface, and that three-point surface is going to include a list of um, the, the base points, right? So um, we're going to have to include um, all of the mast arm, um, all of the mast endpoints, and all of the boom endpoints, with the exception of the last one. And then, um, so it's going to look like this. Here's the diagram, right? Here to there to here. And then we're going to do one from here to here, but down to there. Okay, so which one of those points never gets touched? Right, the last one of the mast, because it never gets, it never receives anything down here at the end. We're going to have a triangle that goes from 4-4, four, four, and it's going to span to um, boom 5, but we're never going to have anything that gets mounted to mast 5. Um, so mast 5 never gets touched. So that's an important distinction. We have two lists that we're going to be working with. Um, we're going to be taking all of, so let's take a look at the information this way. Um, we're actually
actually going to be taking um, the first five of these. We're going to tie them to um, the, the first five of these. And then secondarily, oh, that changes that color. So let me just check that off real quick. And then secondarily, we're going to tie all of them to um, the last five of these. Does that make sense? Why that's the case? Because we're, while we're including this one and this one to start our triangle that's here, the termination of our triangle is at the end. So <coughs> the list for termination points, that third point, doesn't include this. So zero gets cut out. One to five stays in. Um, so we need to restructure this data. Does that make sense to what I drew up there? More or less? Let's see it in action. Um, the hard part is once we start cutting this information out, it loses its identity. Um, so you have to keep track of what's being cut out carefully. Because <coughs> like once we, once we cut out 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, it renumbers to 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, it, so you just got to be careful what you're cutting out. Um, that's that. Let's get rid of this. Um, all right. So let's start setting up those lists. But I'm going to try and do it. Um, yeah, all right. Let's just set up the lists. Um, we have our uh, rotated points. That's these. Um, let's pull it out with a point param just so it's a little cleaner. Okay. Pull it out down here like that. And then we're going to start working on it. Um, so this point param houses all of our masked top points. So this information we need two versions of. We need, or no, the masked top points. We only need one version of this. But we don't need the last one. So let's go to um, set sequence or list and let's go to um, partition list actually not partition sorry um, <coughs> split list yeah um, so split list is going to ask you for the list that you're splitting that part's easy whoops that's going to be this then it asks you for the splitting index Right, so we don't know right now how many masts we're going to operate on. Right, I might increase or decrease it later, so I want to make it smart. Um, so I want the splitting index to be one less than however long my list is. So if it's six items long, then I want it to split after five. So, um, but also remember that it's the splitting index, not the splitting. Um, uh, item in terms of count. So you got to be careful about that. So let's go to list, list length. It's going to measure um, a value of six, right? But when I plug this in at six, you're going to see that all six values are going to be up here and there's going to be nothing that gets filtered down into the bottom. Um, so what we need to do is change that. Let's go to math. Operators, we're going to do subtraction. I'm going to subtract this by one. Yes, I am. Yeah. And then reinsert that here. So now we've got a value of five. So we have five values up top and one value down the bottom. So that's the part that um, is a little unclear because even though now it's only five values, um, this list starts at zero, and so does this one. So it took that last value, and it moved it down, but it renumbered it to zero. So just be careful of that. So now we've got, um, I'm going to put this, these points on here so we can see what we selected. Um, but we've got zero, one, two, three, and four, and we don't have five. Is that clear? OK, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to catch up on that before I do anything with it. 
Yes.